And then, of course, like every human being on this planet, we all share this same question. This is what we think about all day long. What's the future? <laughs> and we have to admit, we don't know. Of course, this is the way we want to look at the future. I know when you work with budgeting, for instance, this is the way you usually do it. You take last year's result and you adjust everything by plus five or something, and then you have a coffee break. <laughs> it's very hard for us human beings to think exponentially. If I would tell you that uh, I, you know, let me take 30 steps in this room, 30 steps, one meter each, I will probably reach the other side of this room. 30 meters, 30 steps. But if I would tell you that I, I'm going to take 30 exponential steps, the first step is one meter, next step is going to be two meters. Do you know how far the 30th step would be? It would be 26 times around the world, around the globe. They give us a glimpse of the future in the new concept car. And in 2016, the concept car is not a car, it's a driver environment. So they don't give us any car, they give us a driver environment. And instead of, you know, the old modes we used to have, how do you want to drive, economy or sporty? You have three modes in this driver environment. You have drive, relax, or create. This is just one example where we use technology, technology that is so powerful that it can actually instantaneously, in milliseconds, make decisions on traffic decisions like this. And this is great because we have one big problem in traffic. You know, we are living in urbanized areas, bigger and bigger cities. Traffic is a big problem in a lot of these areas because we have cars. We use our cars on average one hour each day. So we park them 23 hours, very inefficient. So that's why we start to share cars. And what if we could share self-driving cars? Well, that would be beautiful, because if we would share self-driving cars, no cars would be, you know, parked. We don't need to park the cars anymore. They can just roam around and hunt for passengers in the transportation cloud. So then we can stop buying cars as product and start buying cars as service. It's maybe the key thing to focus on right now. Because what is actually happening in this generation shift, where we see a big difference in who to trust? What leader, what government, what uh, organization, what brand do we trust? And this is the big generation shift right now, you know. We all know that um, they trust one thing more than ever, and that's networks. So I don't care what you say about yourself. I don't care if you're good at getting your message out there. I care about what others say about you. It's a different thing, different approach, different strategy, of course. <laughs> so people in India, in Kenya, in Tanzania, you know, wherever you go today, you realize that they leapfrogged. Oh yes, they leapfrogged. You know, the last time they leapfrogged, they skipped the copper wires and they went straight into mobile. And now they are leapfrogging again. So they skip schools, infrastructure, subways, everything that, that we think is so important, and they go straight into the network society. If we see a new paradigm in economy here, that the young generation actually understand that let's focus on sharing assets instead of buying stuff for ourselves. You know, you have a motorcycle, you have a sailing boat, you have a house in the archipelago, I have a chainsaw, so let's swap, let's share. <laughs> That's beautiful. You know, if we can start doing that, then we don't need to buy as much stuff as our parents did, and we don't need to go into the luxury trap and go into so much debt, and we don't need to, you know, be miserable uh, thinking about how we destroy the environment, etc., because we are sharing. So we don't even need to work as much anymore. So that's why everything is changing. You know, the way it used to be, you had to take a shower after work, because you, you got dirty working. We don't do that anymore. Now we take a shower before we go to work, because we want to look good. And the ones of you who have millennials, the YOLO generation, you have millennials back home, you know, they don't either, they don't work or shower, you know. <laughs>